This is Cross Beats Production and thank you for tuning in. So I want to share with you guys this cool news that's just come out on the PreSonus website and it's free now to download a few of these compressors. Some of them are paid for. There's two that you can actually get. So these first two here, the RC500 compressor and the VT1 compressor. Um, they were out a while back and I think they're really good sounding compressors and you can download these for free if you've got obviously Studio One. I don't think this obviously comes in the Studio One, the free version, but you, you want to get the paid version. So obviously professional and you can probably update it as well to get these. But anyway, nonetheless, it comes with other ones that you can buy as well, which is the Brit, which is obviously a 4000 series or whatever, whatever it's based off. It's definitely an SSL compressor, that's for sure. Uh, then we've got the Fairchild and a, a, well DBX 160. And then you've got this one here, which they call the Everest C, that's the C100. Or that's probably an emulation of something similar to the soft tube compressor. And then we've got the old classic here, which would be looking like a Neve to me. And then another one, which is a tube compressor here. So pretty nice stuff there. Then they've got the EQs and they come with RC500, which is free again. And the VT1, which is another free EQ. The Alpine. Uh, the Solar 69EQ, which is based off a, an old style console EQ. And the Baxendale EQ, which is a nice EQ because it has some really wide curves and um, just nice sort of sounding EQ. Then you've got the Poltec style looking EQ, which is pretty obvious. I don't need to explain that. It's like a tube style of EQ there. And then we've got the three band, uh, which is a vintage style of EQ. So they're all of the really neat stuff they've just recently brought out i haven't heard all of it yet i've downloaded the free versions so the rc500 and the vt1 and then the eqs which um, you can see here uh the vt1 uh, rc500 eq um i've done a few bits a few bits of testing as well and from what i can see they're very broadband eqs so they only have three this has only got three three different sections here that you can use so three bands and um they've got a peaking shelf so Obviously, it's not going to give you um, too much flexibility on this type of EQ, but um, it does sound good. So let's have a look and look and see what they actually look like in the project, and we'll bring them up and see how you can actually access them as well. So I've got this track I'm currently working on, and I'll just show you some of it right now, and we'll get one of the the plugins going. So if you're familiar with the Fat Channel, which we've talked about this before, and I'm sure I've shown you this before in other videos as well. Um, this is how you access it. So if you go to the compressor section or the EQ section, um, you've got a gate as well, but it doesn't have anything in there additionally. Uh, but you've got all these compressors now to, to go from. So you've got an RC500, and then you've got the uh, VT1 as well. And from my knowledge, you can expand this out like this as well. So if you didn't already know about that, that's a little trick um, that you can also do. So let's just say we want to have um, lots of things going on at one time and you want to have all the gates and all that sort of stuff happening here you can actually do that so that's pretty cool so let's just see what we've got going on here we've got an eq as well i want to change this to one of the vintage eqs and we'll just work with that actually i might just stick with the two like that i don't really need the gate so let's just go with these two and the limiter so uh how do they sound let's see so basically the threshold is this thing here so we've got the threshold as as per usual you guys know what a threshold is i don't need to explain that if i do um go to another one of my videos that talks about compression and you'll understand that but basically this is like the thing that allows the compressor to activate or deactivate as being the th threshold so let's just play with a vocal i think i've put this on a vocal actually uh yeah, actually, I might put it on the the um, whirly so that we get that because I actually want to see what that sounds like. I'll just activate these two as well and expand it. So I really like how you can do that. That's quite quite cool. Um, I don't know if you could do that before. I'm not sure, but you can definitely do it now. So anyway, um, let's see what this sounds like. So we'll get the compressor. We'll deactivate these two first off to see how that sounds without it. And we've got it on the, the whirly, which I'm just going to isolate all this, just solo off and solo this one instrument here. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> 
Let's go with all the way up plus 30 and put the compressor in. So you can already tell it's a really smooth sounding compressor it's quite nice and i've got two two to one ratio going on here and no makeup gain and what i really like about this compressor as well is when you use this side chain filter here it allows you to hear what you're actually uh, inputting into it and what it's leaving out so let's listen to that So you can tell with this instrument as well that a lot of the instrument has a lot of low end there. Um, there's definitely stuff that's happening down in the in the low sort of spectrum, and I'll just show you on span as well, so you kind of have an idea uh, what what we're looking at, and also just follow the correlation meter just so you, for your own knowledge as well and the level here. All right, let's boost. I probably wouldn't do this if it was in the whole entire mix, but I just wanted to show you what this actual instrument sounds like just on its own. And um, let's have a listen to it in the mix and see how it sounds. All I had to do was just speak up the call. Tick tack toe found what I was looking for. Took a lip of faith and daddy took it all. He took everything, man, he took. All right, sounds, sounds pretty good. Um, so there you go. You don't boost in that area. I actually cut some because some of that instrument is actually taking up a lot of the other part of the mix. Uh, so I didn't need to actually, you know, boost in that area. But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of what this sounds like and show you guys the functionality of it. And if you didn't know about this little slidey thing that you can actually do that as well, because that's really neat to be able to expand both of them and have them both available to you at the one go. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys uh, like this video and obviously go and download these these four things that you get for free and try out some of the other ones if you want. I don't know if you can actually demo them, I'll just double check. Uh, actually, you guys can check it out anyway, I'm not sure if you can demo them at the moment, but maybe if you can't, maybe that's something Studio One needs to do. So if they're looking at this video, uh, give, give us guys an option to demo them so we can actually hear them for, for what they are and see if they're worth buying as well. So anyway, um, the end of this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, and like this video. Catch you later.